The perfect world Shanghai Major are martial arts later this week, so I'm going to break down everything so you know what to expect. In this first video, we're going to go over the format and the teams in the Asian group. I'll be posting two more videos in the next couple days where we go over the Americas and European armors, so make sure you're subscribed to be notified when those drop. Well, I'll quit stalling and let's break down the format. There's only eight teams in the Asian RMR, so the format is quite simple. But the stakes here are even higher compared to the other RMR groups, as only three teams will qualify for the major. Teams will start out by playing a single round of best of ones, where the winners get moved to the upper bracket and will have to win only a single best of three to qualify, and the losers get dropped into the lower bracket, where chaos and heartbreak run rampant. All the losers will have to play perfect from here on out, as a single loss will knock them out of the tournament. Teams that win the first game in the lower bracket move on and have to play against teams that lost the best of threes in the upper bracket. From there, the winners of those two semifinals will have to square off against each other for the last major qualification spot and a chance at millions of dollars in sticker money. Starting off with the best team in the RMR and the best Asian team in the history of Counter-Strike, the Mongols. Saying the Mongols should cruise to an easy 2-0 qualification would be a little bit of an understatement. They are currently ranked as the 11th best team in the world by HLTV and shot up to 5th on the Valve rankings with their win over Heroic at the Thunderpick World Championships last month. They boast impressive upsets this year over teams like Spirit, G2, and Astralis, and look to continue their domination over the region. Feasting off against the Mongols in the best of one, we have Alter Ego. They may be the lowest seeded team in the group, with a Valve ranking of 190 and 217 on HLTV, but they are coming in hot with 9 straight map wins, albeit against worse competition, but confidence is key for them heading into this tournament. It will take a miracle for them to make it through, but anything can happen in the opening best of ones. The hometown team for the Major just might have the most difficult bracket. Linvision will face off against the Oni Pixel Dream team in the Drillas in the opening match, and if they win, they will most likely have to face off against the Mongols to qualify. Luckily for them, they have experience against European teams thanks to them qualifying for the Copenhagen Major, as well as a multitude of tournaments earlier in the year like IEM Shangju and ESL Pro League. If the brackets don't go their way however, I can see things going south real fast as they have lost their last few matches against fellow Shanghai hopefuls FlyQuest and Rare Adam. The most hyped team in the tournament is the Drillas, but I wouldn't get too excited just yet. The same downsides for Linvision also apply for the Drillas. It will be a hard fought and long grind for them to make it through the qualifier, but with their suspicious amount of European experience, this newly formed team definitely has a shot to make it through and make Counter-Strike history for creating possibly the funniest team stickers yet. The second Chinese team showing up is Rare Atom. They may be low in the rankings, only boasting 92nd on Valve ranking and 139th on HLTV, but this team is dangerous. They have dominant wins over other domestic teams and have upset both Linvision and Mongols this year. They have one of the more favorable paths to qualification and could easily be the hometown heroes in Shanghai. Showing up for Russia, we have GR. They're coming in hot on a four game winning streak after they swept an online tournament, but unfortunately for them, they're facing Rare Adam who beat them earlier in the year. They also have losses to Alter Ego and FlyQuest, so them making it through the qualifier is definitely a long shot. Traveling to the land down under, we have a battle of the Aussies with FlyQuest facing off against Talon. Currently on a 14 game winning streak, FlyQuest is the dominant team of their island and look to make it back to the Major after missing out in Copenhagen earlier this year. FlyQuest is easily the second best team at this tournament, but are known to have some brutal chokes. Even with an early loss in the best of one, this team is still should be able to right the ship and cruise through the lower bracket if it comes to that. The 8th and final team rounding out the RMR is Talon another Australian team looking to show why their region should demand respect. Talon draws the unfortunate opening matchup of their big brother in FlyQuest, who I fear is just too tall of a task. They also don't really have a hot streak coming into this tournament or any big upsets this year, so I'm worried they may face a quick exit at the RMR, but I'm hopeful to be proven wrong. It's always nice to see some new faces at the Major. Personally, I have the Mongols and FlyQuest earning the first two Major qualification spots. I think their firepower, as well as their experience against tier 1 teams, will prove too much for their competition. As for the last qualification spot, well, that's a little bit more difficult to predict. I'm actually going to pick the underdog here and say Rare Adam will snag the third spot of the Major. 
I think they have favorable matchups against many of the other teams likely to be down in the lower bracket, and I can see them getting hot at the right time. Some honorable mentions here are Lin Vision and Drillos, but I have a sneaky suspicion we'll see them collapse. But what do you think? Do you disagree with my picks? If so, let me know down in the comments below, and watch out for my videos coming out later this week on the American and European RMRs.